Hello everybody, it's me Ross and breaking news, Paul Cook has been appointed the new Ipswich Town Manager following the sacking of Paul Lambert. I'm joined by good old Bloomers and Harvey as we react to the news of the new appointment. Another Paul as Town Manager, but um, hopefully this will be a successful one. Harvey, your first thoughts on Paul Cook appointed Manager of Town. Sounds good, doesn't it? Um, I, I'm, I'm delighted. Uh, it was between him and him and the Cowleys for me. Uh, when it became evident that it was going to be Cook, I was I was more than happy. Um, he's he's got a good record. He's got a good promotion record. He seems to engage with fans. Um, you know, he's got a, a certain way of playing that seems to work very well. He's he's improved players. You look at people like Jamal Lowe, Kiefer Moore. Um, he's improved them over time. So I'm I'm really really pleased with it. Um, Hopefully the dreaded Paul curse will, will have come to an end now and uh, we'll, we'll get a bit more success. So, uh, yeah, excited, excited about the future. Um, I like the look of, of, of him and I, and I like what he's done at clubs. He's, he's built them and if it wasn't for the, you know, the whole situation at Wigan, um, you know, they would have comfortably been, been a mid-table and, and perhaps more. So, uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really thrilled, like the majority. And uh, hopefully from here we'll have a, we'll have a bit more success. Definitely. And Bloomers, thanks for joining us. Um, you made an amazing speech on the pod a few weeks back. Uh, Lambert's gone and Paul Cook is in. Your reaction on him being appointed? Yeah, I won't take any credit for it. Uh, <laughs> not just another Paul, uh, another Scouse Paul as well uh, in charge of his talents. Uh, quite a weird thing. I think for me, it just smacks of this is the first round uh, peg in round hole appointment we've had since Mick McCarthy. I think when you looked at the position we were in when Paul Jewell left, it was the, on paper, smart option to get Mick McCarthy in and things grew from there. We originally kept our championship status and kicked on from there. The other appointments we've had since then, like while you could argue the merits of them, positive or negative, they haven't kind of had a consensus of, yes, this seems like the way to go. Whereas with Paul Cook, in my mind, it, it completely is. Uh, I'm the same as Harvey. I kind of would have been happy with the Cowleys or with uh, Paul Cook. But if it's Cook, then, well, sorry, it is Cook, then fantastic. Um, he's someone who, yeah, seems to have his principles sort of locked down. Um, hopefully they'll translate to, to us quite nicely. Um, it's, it's important to think that actually before Wigan Athletic, which kind of put onto the map, he was also in charge of Portsmouth and led them to the League Two title. So he's got experience at, at one end of the league as well as the other. And so we're hoping that the League Two title with Portsmouth is a sign of things to come with us. Um, and then just going on from that, it's also nice to see a, a manager that has respect for cup competitions. I know we're going sort of to next season now um, and it's something that's not going to be thought of immediately. But... Look at what he's done in the FA Cup with Wigan when he's beat teams like West Ham, he's beat Bournemouth, he's obviously beat Man City at home that famous time. So it would just be refreshing all round to see someone that, that takes pride in those competitions. I feel like it's a really strong appointment. And uh, yeah, it's what we, it's the best that I think we could have hoped for. So hopefully we'll continue what we've done in the, in the last uh, few weeks and, and kick on from there. Harvey, no, I know you spoke to um, a, like a Wigan fan, got his thoughts on it. Um, can you share more about that on what Paul Cook as a manager is? Um, Bloom has sort of mentioned a little bit there, but um, yeah, take it away. Yeah, going off, off off what he said, and he's he's a he's a massive Wigan fan. The the majority of the fan base there adored him. Um, he seems to have a really good connection with the fans and and the players. Um, it sounds like he, like like Blooms has said, he has got these principles. Um, he mainly sticks to a, a kind of four-two-three-one formation, which has worked very well for us recently. So hopefully that will, um, you know, he'll implement his own ideas into that system. That will work really well. Um, he said as well that he, to players, he he is like Marmite. You either love him or you hate him. But players that have loved it, that have really got on with him, he's improved um, and he and he's better their careers. And his record speaks for itself. Um, you know, it's, it, Blues makes a, go, a great point about the cup competitions. It's it's nice to see a manager who takes those kind of competitions seriously. Um, and I think we've got a lot to look forward to. I really do. Um, I'm as optimistic now as I have been for a very, very long time. 
you know, with the Hurst appointment, it was a little bit of the unknown. There was a bit of excitement there, but with a manager like Cook, he's he's proven at this level. He's he's a proven winner at this level, um, and I think he can bring a, a lot of good ideas. But yeah, it was really interesting to get a, a Wigan's perspective on it, a Wigan fan's perspective, because um, you know he's of the opinion that if the you know the situation at Wigan didn't unfold like it did, um, they'd be pushing for a, for a Premier League spot, and you know by the playoffs or along those lines. So he improves players, he improves teams. Um, so I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I think uh, there's there's some exciting times ahead. And Bloomers, of course, we're in a good position at the moment. Um, last couple of weeks ago, we were worried that we weren't even going to get in the playoffs, but some positive results recently. <laughs> Lambert's last two games were wins against playoff candidates. Um, the game's coming up. He's got a chance, Paul Cook, to get us back into the playoffs. Absolutely. Um, I don't think any of us, even in those dark times, ever thought that the squad wasn't good enough to be competing at the top end of the table. Um, we've had our, our grumbles with certain players or, or whatever, but you look on paper, this is a squad that's more than capable of doing well in this league. It's kind of, in my mind, like the um, the first season of Lambert, but in reverse. So what I mean by that is Lambert came in, everyone sort of just assumed that we were going down and it was kind of like a free hit to see if he could could do it. For me, this is, this is kind of reverse of that. No one, people might expect now for us <clears throat> to, to, to really kick on and, and get the playoffs. But in my mind, this is still kind of a free hit. Um, but make no mistake, it's completely there for the taking. We can we can get in the playoffs easily. We just need to continue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just need to continue um, the way that we've been going. And, and yeah, if Cook can get the, the squad on board and, and get his formation down pretty quickly and get the players on board with what he wants to try and do, there is more than enough time to to get ourselves in the top six. And, and and then if you get in the top six, who knows? So, yes, really positive. And just think about where we were after that Northampton game and what it's like now. Oh. And the cat's loving it too. He's chanting uh, Paul Cook's Barmy Army. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of more positivity on the timeline at Itchers Town. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, um, Bloomers and Harvey, for joining me. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on Paul Cook the new Itchwood's Town Manager. I've been Ross, and we'll you know, see you in the next video, basically. Bye-bye.